Hi everybody, this is Connie. So today I want to talk about perpetuating your sickness or creating your health. So lupus is a result and more importantly, just like anything, it's a result of many variables that we can or cannot control. And it's easy to end up at a destination, in this case having lupus, and not like, not like this outcome. What happens is that we look to doctors and experts to figure out the solution. But the truth is, is that their solution isn't the solution we're seeking. They are, they are really good at masking those symptoms temporarily, which keeps them under control. What's more important is that we as lupus patients are confused at more than ever. One, we don't understand the disease. And two, we don't know what the outcome of this disease is. And three, we don't know if the outcome is actually what we want. We just don't know. Here's what's more ludicrous. The very doctors that we see don't know either. So we get shuffled from doctors of all specialists, from dermatology, infectious disease, GI, neurology, rheumatology, cardiology, pulmonology, and if you were like me, many visits to the ER doctors. Not a single one knows how your lupus will manifest because it's individually very different. And every time you go see a new specialist, your list of pills grows. It's their ultimate answer to everything. A pill for your ill, and if that doesn't relieve the symptoms, they offer you an antidepressant. So instead of looking at lupus, the result, how about if we focus on the root cause? So what'll surprise you is that the root cause may not always be very obvious. It starts with your genes, antecedents, triggers, and perpetuators, which leads you to the result. And in this case, it's lupus. Lupus is only the result. We can't change the result. We must look at what came before. We are so conditioned in the medical sciences to study various diseases, which are the results. But don't spend time on the cause and fixing the cause because there's very little profit in prevention. This is the truth. Tell me how many times your doctor talked to you about lifestyle changes like eating, sleeping, exercise, your relationships, potential mold in your house or amalgam fillings, or checking your food sensitivities, for example. We're not simply parts of a body. We're a whole being. So cardiologists specializes in the heart. Nephrologists specialize in the kidney. I'm sorry, nephrologists specialize in the kidneys. Neurologists specialize in the nervous system. And the ER doctors is all about triage to get you from one place to the other and get you out of the hospital. They don't collaborate to the extent that they will take care of the parts of you. How do I know? Years working in the hospital with an interdisciplinary team to treat patients that are seriously ill. I've been on this side and believe me, it's not promising. And the medical system is focused on the sick care and it's really, really good that they do. And if you want to forever be a patient, I suppose you keep doing what you're doing. But patient, by definition, is a person receiving or registered to receive medical treatment. That is not what I want to be or it's not what I want to be for the rest of my life. I want to minimize my time being a patient and start working on the cause to hope for a different result. I want to strive to create, create health and I'm committed to changing the perspective of those of you who want to do the same. And if you're here and like what I'm saying, only then sign up for my movement on lupusrebel.com to keep in the loop of everything I'm up to. We've got so much to share with you in the near future, and my team and I are busy creating applicable information that you can use immediately to start to feel better. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll talk to you soon.